the United States announced their intention to drop these tariffs on imports of Canadian aluminum retroactive to September the 1st, 2020. A game of trade tariff chicken in the U.S. blinks first. Just hours before Canada was to announce import taxes on American goods in retaliation for American tariffs on Canadian aluminum, the U.S. says let's forget the whole issue. Federal ministers assembled in Ottawa for a cabinet retreat say if the threat of tariffs returns, they won't be afraid to talk tough again. Let me be clear. Should tariffs be reimposed on our aluminum exports in the future, Canada will retaliate with perfectly reciprocal dollar-for-dollar dollar tariffs, as we have done in the past. The tariffs would have taxed Canadian aluminum going south at 10%, with the biggest hit expected to be on American consumers. Analysts say with a looming election, America may be trying to keep costs low for voters. The U.S. announcement included target numbers for Canadian aluminum imports, with America saying tariffs could return if trade goes over that. But the deputy PM and industry leaders say that's not something Canada agreed to. It's not shared by Canada. It's not acknowledged by Canada. So the line is drawn very clearly in the sand. And as Deputy Prime Minister Freeland said, if ever the U.S. decides to come back to tariffs, Canada is ready with its own tariffs. So it's very clear for us. With the latest tariff tiff behind them, for now, the Liberal government is looking ahead to next week's throne speech. It's widely expected that there will be some further support for households going off CERB. Millions who qualify for EI or other programs will still receive cash, but less than the CERB. Others will fall through the cracks, getting nothing at all. Economists warn the economy has survived largely due to consumer spending through the CERB. We'll likely start to see an impact on, on consumer spending and therefore economic growth. People, uh, you know, there's 4 million people who are going to do this transfer. It's a lot of people who, if they see less money in their pockets, are going to be less willing to spend that money in the economy. And so there is a knock-on effect potential uh, because the, uh, the new programs will, will just provide less than CERB did. There's been little indication as to what the Liberals hope to put in the throne speech, which is scheduled for next Wednesday. It's expected the NDP will be their likely closest partners and the Grits will have to offer them something to survive a confidence vote. Jagmeet Singh says he hasn't spoken with the Liberal Party yet, but expects to before the end of the week. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.